Hi, at this uh, moment in time, it's now 8th of October. There's the question on the forum saying, I can't build Arconet ISO. And the best thing to test it is just, well, to show you is to test it and see if I can build an ISO. If I can do it, everybody else could should be able to do it, right? It all depends on what you've done in your machine, probably as well. So one of the things that I'll recommend is learning about Pac-Man. And there is something called Pac-Man, and there's this car, minus SUV. SUV is a car, and he wants to be pseudo, so let him be pseudo. And you learn a little bit about this particular package manager, Pac-Man. The configuration file is there, the databases are here. Here's the cache, that might be wrong, right? If they are, if there are, Arch links, Arch links, and maybe other repos that you use have corrupt packages, things will go wrong, right? Um, there are some hooks here, log files, uh, all the rest interesting, but we're talking about making sure that whatever is on that in that folder, we can actually go and copy paste this thing, control C, and then, well, actually, control shift C, Eric, control shift C, copy. And then go to Tunor, and you can copy paste it up here. Control V. This contains all the packages ever I've downloaded and installed ever, right? All the dates, 0828, are old things in here because since then there wasn't an update, right? So what I'll do is this: sudo pacman minus s c, and if you ask him. You will know here C, you can see B, C, D, but nah, C, C is not in there, right? So what I do is C, C. This gives us a clean, very clean system. Do you want to remove all files from cache? This thing to the right. Yes. And then it says, do you want to remove unused repositories? Last time, yes. That's it. That's a good start because everything is clean. And now it depends where are things coming from to sources, our mirror list, which is the narco, right? Think about the films about narco, narcotics, narco mirror list. It's a way to remember it. And I make sure the seat host is available, but doesn't really matter. What's more important is that uh, control X, What's more important is decide where the Arch Linux stuff, stuff is coming from. So the first thing is Narco, that's us. That's Nano, Arco, Mirrorlist, right? And N Mirrorlist is Pacman, is Arch. So think, where is this coming from? And I've made some decisions uh, yesterday or the day before that. I said, I'll change the mirror. Normally it's Osbeck. But there was a problem with the update and I said, let's get to another server and there was no problem anymore. It's all about when am I doing things? When am I updating things? Computer, well, they get updates in, but it takes time to upload the file, to create a database and then everything is okay. So either you wait or like I did, I just hashtag them out and I take another server, which is already okay. So I'm going to go back to Osbeck now, right? Not that it matters. Sure it matters, right? Where are the packages coming from? Two places, Arclinx, Arclinx. And all the packages in my system, whether they're corrupt or not, they're now gone. They're all coming now from the internet, from the sources I have told them to go to. So that's that. Everything is set. What I'll do now is go to, let me think, Brave is maybe best. All the others open a lot of tabs. All the tabs go open and that's a lot of work to close them again. I'd like to build an ISO. Sure, Arco Linux B. Build yourself an ISO. So you can do this one. There is information here, here, building ISOs. We can add 4,000 packages from Chaotix AOR. Sure, if you want to have Android stuff or 
I don't know, whatever your passion is, add it on the ISO. Immediately you have it on your future system. So up here, it says build your own ISO. There are three things to build, that's it. The article B's are gone, right? But there's just clickable, they're just installable inside these guys. The question on the forum is about Arco Net, and here it is. We share the scripts, the way we build things, we share it all. You need to click here, go to, for example, your desktop, and we can kill all that, voila. And we open a terminal on the desktop and say git clone. Let me make this bigger with this key combo, yes. Git clone and then Ctrl Shift V. That gives us exact same copy as on the internet. And now we'll see if there are issues or not. So he says on the forum, I didn't change anything, so neither will I. And I just type 40. That's it. I've added this little text here because people were running this thing as root. So inside root, right, which is not a good idea to do, to log in as root in a graphical environment or adding sudo in front of it. Both of them are bad, right? Just the number 40. No sudo in front of it. That's why I've added these things here. And now, of course, you need to become root. So I give him the password and say, go ahead. And it's going to look Arch ISO, correct version, continue. And it's going to continue with all kinds of things. And off it goes. If you want to keep track of things again, the SUV there, probably gone. That was in computer, in file system, in var, in cache, in Pac-Man, in packages. He's downloading. Right? At this point in time, there are no packages yet. So there is something busy and it's, uh, we can't see it now, we can't go in there. And yes, sure, he is busy. 200 of 1,200, I mean, one sixth is done. Everything is coming from the internet, almost, well, no, really everything. But just part of it is coming from Arco and the other part is coming from Arch. In my case, Sweden, Osbeck is my choice of server. If I press on space, it drops to the last line. I can scroll up again and read and read space back to the last line. So that's probably what's happening. I'm making sure that what we start with is clean. All the packages were gone. I've decided where to get it for Arclinux. I've decided where to get it from Arch. And if we see no errors, then we'll get an ISO. So basically this title could be how to build Arconet and then good practices. This is typing, is, is telling you tips. Where are the packages from Pac-Man? They might be corrupted and it might not be your fault, right? We should maybe go to Arch Linux, to the servers. There are so many computers out there and they're not all equally good. Arch Linux, let's see where could it find it, wiki maybe, and then server. Let's see what we get, domain, FTP, mail server. Pacman servers, which is the best word to look for it. Arch Linux server, let's see what we get. In a virtual server, no VPS flies, pry, no, not good. None of them are good. Arch Linux wiki server. Let's see what we get. Here is servers, web server. None of them <laughs> are what I want. But there is an article somewhere that will tell us how or whether servers are down or up or things like that. So the wiki probably, an installation guide maybe. 
and then go to control find server okay that's one hit second hit there we go almost there unofficial mirrors as well interesting the pac-man mirror list pac-man generator this is probably now that's the package and that's the generator this gives us an idea right if we click on this it generates all the servers in the world per country and yeah who's to say they are online who is to say they are okay who's to say they are, have been mirrored they start from somewhere to somewhere and then you might just try a server that at that point in time is down corrupt right things happen to servers in the meantime he's still building so i'm happy so there are no errors whatsoever um there was another page somewhere where we could see the status was it this one voila so here we have the status and this well explains what i'm saying right in china 50 percent is complete i mean it's bound to run into problems because if you use this server to get your files half of them are okay so dependencies and all that right that's a problem so ukraine is 100 percent etc maybe we can click here and then you see from here it becomes problematic i don't know what this means it's empty but choosing a server matters and that's the point i want to make choosing a server matters because if it's not complete or if it's very very slow three seconds here let's have a look the super fast and super slow here is a slider <laughs> all the way down no that's too far i guess so evaluate and there are even details never clicked on details so country switzerland check ip delay one hour 37 what a, one one hour yeah one hour 37 duration 063 so not sure how to read these things but what i do know is a server has to be online has to be complete has to respond fast enough for me to enjoy Arch Linux. Okay, so that's the point. That's the point. What do you start with? What servers do you choose? Make a selection and how do we do that? Well, you saw already here online there was something you could have a look at. Here, a Pac-Man middle list generator. And say something like, like for instance, I'm living in Belgium. So Belgium is in. France is 300 down, kilometers down. Let's see if I can do with a control. Yep, control works. The Netherlands, click. Germany is to my right. And yeah, I do like Sweden, right? Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. Why? I don't know. It's just because of the fiber, I guess. It's a very fast response time. And they get these servers. Here are the Belgium servers, the France servers, Germany servers, and the Netherlands. That's a one way of doing things. Now, there's another package that's called RAMS. Well, I call it RAMS, but or RAM or RAMS. Rate mirrors, I think. So, a guy. Let's see if it's this guy. maybe right if we're not sure we can always go here and say what was the url you go to arch legs to the awar best way rate mirrors there we are and this provides us with the 100 percent certain url this guy west and skiff <laughs> right so that's the guy. It's the same guy. Where we're at the right place. 
but I can check that if I'm right or not. And this is another application which we type just RAM. That's something we can type or RAM S. S stands for HTTPS. So an extra S is just looking at the servers with SSL. Control C. Wah, done. So RAMS is another one and it's all aliases. Alias, alias RAM. Empty. Because I'm on fish. Might be. Yep, it's working. So it's an, not an alias anymore, it's an application and it's now looking at all the servers and it's changing the servers in my file. But it's okay at this point in time, I'm already building the ISO. So there's not no need to download anything anymore because everything is in and there you are. So Ram looked around and assess you're living in Belgium, the Dutch website NL Dutch website Netherlands is faster for me he says all right and it's all HTTP some s and some without s so when I type rams with an s it's doing the exact same exercise but now only HTTP s so I guess it's um, a which ram at this point in time no nope, it's not but it does work RAM and RAMs in fish actually produce something. And here it should be oh, still busy. All S's. All S. Now, again, this is not my decision. This is an application that's running. I have no control over this application. It's there. It's good. It's not good. You decide. But I don't want these guys, not definitely, right? We have something called Arcolix something. Arcolix, Arcolix Osbeck as mirror. Osbeck is win. Enter, enter. Now I have back these guys. You can check with end mirror list. Back those guys. Like I said, I prefer Osbeck, so I'm gonna say bye guys and this is it go to mirror osbeck second mirror osbeck and third mirror package build and i put these guys maybe beneath it does if 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 osbeck is online there's no issue if only one server is there there is no problem as long as it is online and complete synced 100 percent then one line is enough, right? So that's why we put a few lines in there as fallback if for some reason they unplugged the server in Sweden, then it just goes to the next and to the next and to the next. And that's the idea of having more stuff. So you decide where to get your stuff. And I hope this will help the user. As you see, everything is building. There's no need to make the video longer than it is. It needs to be question or uh, title of the YouTube thing is best practices, how to build an ISO best practices, make sure that you know what you're doing, where is everything coming from, is all okay, and then you go, you build it. All right, cheers.